The nice thing about these click and play figures is they're quite poseable. Lots of joints, the head turns, shoulders, not only turn, but you can pivot them out, the arms, wrists, hands, etc. Waist, legs, so you can put them in virtually any kind of a position that you want. We're going to get this little guy here, we can set him down, put his hands on his lap, turn his arms. So they're not too bad, and they're fairly scale looking. Now what I usually do is I'll get a position that I want the figure to be in. And in my case, I'll be having two of them sitting in the seats. The third person I'll have probably on the aft deck. Now the next step will be using the joints. Once we get that, that position, we want to hold it like that. So I'll take some super glue, the watery kind, and I'll inject that in all of the joints. So when I'm done, nothing is going to move. It'll, everything will be rigid. Then the next step after that would be to fill all the joints. Some of the smaller joints, the little seams like this one, actually you could probably fill that with super glue and probably the paint will flow into a lot of that. Anything else where there's a little bit larger joint, like what we can see down in here and around the elbow, around the shoulders, the hip and the legs, all of that would have to be filled with something. Now, there's several things we could use for that. We can use some JB Weld. Actually, I use the JB Quick. Uh, it's a five minute set epoxy. Mix that up. A little toothpick and push everything into the joints. Another choice could be Testers makes a filler. But my favorite is the Tamiya. And the Tamiya filler is has a consistency of oh let's say toothpaste just like toothpaste coming out of a tube starts hardening pretty fast so and it will shrink so you'll have to do several layers of it building up and then finally you take some sandpaper and sandpaper down the joints another thing you do is if you have a fairly good build up is to use your motor tool I have several different size uh, and shape tool bits and you can also use that to clean up. It's also good if you need to remove some material. This is what the figures look like when they're filled in. Here I use the Tamiya putty and so far I've got two layers on there and I'll be adding maybe another one or two before I start sanding and filing. Also, what I found helpful in working with the figures is needle files. And these I buy in Harbor Freight. And one in particular is the round file where you can get in and start working around tight corners. I did leave the heads on all of them so that they will swivel so that when I'm taking pictures of the boat they can actually put them in different positions. Here you can see this figure starting to take form. This top part here you can see where I put it fell in. A few places I'll have to build up a little bit more and then sand it down. And then after I did that, let it dry, finished it, and I painted it a flat tan. And the reason why I do that before I paint the actual colors on there is I can start to see if there's any imperfections in the figure that where I need to add some more fill. And the paint itself will actually fill up a few of the little imperfections that's in there. Maybe two or three layers might be 
be needed. Here we have our Coast Guard crew all ready for installation. This guy is already installed onto the rear deck hatch. Have a little screw going up through his foot to hold him in place, fairly secure. And we have the other two that will be sitting in the seats. We have the seats all done, painted up, and uh, all fastened in. I used, uh, they're actually not glued into the seats, they're actually held in by this elastic material which I've got in Michaels. It's a flat elastic cord. And, uh, it comes in black and white and they also have some elastic cord that is round. First I'm going to install the coach guard then on the aft deck with the hatch cover. Also note that I made a little catch on the bottom there so that it will hold us in firm rather than being able to pop up. And that snaps in pretty good. Hold it down tight. Magnet in the front. Then I'm going to put in the little part that represents the drum that contains a water pump which can be dropped off for any boat that's failing and this is that round elastic cord I was just mentioning I used it here so you can put a little tension on that and hold it in place now he's all done and we'll get ready to do the rest of the crew. Now we're going to install our two figures that are in the seats. We'll just slip that down into the, into the holes in the deck. And then we're going to put some nuts on the bottom side to hold everything in place. Same thing to the other side. All right, now let's get to the business here. Get you guys on the hull. Okay, let's put the cabin back on. And the flags will be attached to the mast later on. And here we've got our crew. 